Well, it's Monday morning, and I want you to take your Bibles and go to Nahum. And I'm going to give you a minute to get there by describing what we're going to be talking about this morning. And uh, it, it's kind of important because I think there's a lot of people walking around assuming that because they've claimed to know God and because they claim to be right on track with God, no matter how little they give to him, that a lot of people are assuming that this verse will be for them, that that they will receive what, what God is going to say here. And um, I mean, let me just say this up front. God can tell the difference between those who say they trust him and those who actually trust him. There's a significant difference between those two things. And, and one of the most important things we could ever do is begin to actually trust him and begin to actually frame our lives around what God would have us to frame our lives around. Instead of continuing to pursue all of our dreams in sort of a clean way, uh, God wants us to trust him and start doing things that he has for us instead of the things that we've determined are most important for us. And so in Nahum chapter number one, there's just one verse we're going to look at this morning. I'm going to give you a lot of extra time in your commute and you're getting ready and all of that. In verse number seven in chapter number one, it says, the Lord is good, a stronghold in the day of trouble. Okay, so the Lord is good and he's a stronghold in the day of trouble. But now listen to the, the implication in the next part. And he knoweth them that trust him. And, and so, so think of it this way. God is saying, I am good. I'm a stronghold in trouble. Nahum understands this. Nahum is told to tell the people this. And then he says, he says that he knows the difference between those who are claiming something and those who are actually doing something or actually believe something. And that something is trusting him. And so by implication here, God is good and a stronghold for them who trust him. God knows the difference and he's going to meet out to people. He's going to give out to people the protections and the refuge and the goodness and all of those things that we hope for based on the truth. Do we actually trust him or are we still completely trusting in ourselves while hoping that we've done enough to make God save us at the end of this life? That is no way to live. God has given us every resource we need. God has made available to us every protection and every goodness that we would ever need if we will trust him. And so I'm going to ask you to do this. Ask yourself, do I actually trust him or is it just my claim? And so if we'll start the week off strong by saying, okay, Lord, whatever you say, whatever you want, whatever you, you, you pr impress upon me, that's what I'm going to do. I think we're going to see a, an incredible difference in this week that we're heading into. And, and listen, there's a huge difference between those two things of claiming to trust him and actually trust him, trusting him. And I'm encouraging you today, make sure you are actually trusting him. Have a great day.